Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Nostalgia Unboxings. Today we are doing one of my unusual food reviews, kind of food videos that I don't do very terribly often, but I had the opportunity to get something that I've been waiting many moons for. And it is Doritos 3D. They have finally made a comeback after being gone for over, I think, 15 years, at least in the United States. Oddly enough, I'm pretty sure they never stopped producing them in Mexico because I've seen listings online. I've periodically checked because I was pretty big fan of these back in the day. <laughs> we used to have the uh, chili, I guess the chili cheese nacho ones, or at least whichever ones the orangish red ones were back in the day at every single party that <laughs> I remember from the time when I was like maybe five-ish years old or so. We also have two nice little bowls so we can showcase how they look in a little serving tray out of, out of the bag. Make it a little easier to see exactly how they look in comparison to a normal Dorito. So here we go. Uh, you may notice also one thing that this is party sized and this is not. And uh, the answer to that question would be because I had to go on a little adventure to find these. So my local Target didn't have any, at least from what I saw. They could be tucked away maybe somewhere, but I didn't find any of them there. Then I went to Walmart. Walmart only had the spicy ranch ones for some reason. I could not find the chili cheese nacho ones anywhere in the store. And then I went to Julasco, which I found this out pretty recently too, but Julasco only exists here in the Midwest. It is not like a national or global chain, which is really, really weird for me growing up with Julasco my whole entire life. But so it's at a, it's a grocery store essentially. I think it's similar to like Publix in the South and maybe Winn-Dixie. I am not quite sure about that one. So anyway, so I went there and they had both flavors, but I don't think they had the bigger bags. So you can see here, there's actually a little bit of a size difference here. The party size says that it is nine and a fourth ounces. Why, why not just go to nine and a, I don't know, that's so weird. Why divide it into fourths? And then uh, this one is a nice clean six ounces for the uh, Doritos, the chili cheese nacho crunch ones. So here's the hoping that they're both good. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get onto it here. So we'll pop the bag open here. We'll go for the small bag first. Let's take a good whiff. Oh my God, they smell exactly like I remember them. <laughs> here's, here's how they look in the bag. They look a little more so here they look a little more like equilateral triangles, whereas here they look more like acute triangles. <laughs> and I can't believe I'm actually using those math phrases from way back in school. But he uh, here it be guys, math actually kind of pays off kids, even if you're a YouTuber. Yeah, you know, knowledge. But yeah, so they look a little pointy, kind of like, like bugles almost a little bit in a way. And uh, let's, let's pour them out into this little, my little paper bowls here. Let's get a couple in here. Alright, I think that's a pretty good amount. So those are the chili cheese nacho ones. Now on to the spicy ranch. So I like how they're also not the same flavors as regular Doritos. They are slightly altered, so I'm really curious to see how they compare. I don't actually have comparison Doritos, but you gotta take my word for it. I have had Doritos enough times in my life and many flavors of them that I can I can accurately compare these, I think. So here we go. Ooh. Hmm. These smell weird. They don't they don't so they don't smell exactly like the normal cool ranch Doritos. Those ones have like this sharp smell, kind of with like the herbs and spices. Whereas this this one smells almost a little cheesy. And a lot more, I think, like real ranch. It's like Alright, you get a little bit of the herbs, but it's like, it's more subdued, so I'm, I'm really interested now to see how these taste in comparison to regular Cool Ranch. Oddly enough, I'm actually not a fan of like, ranch as a, as a condiment, as a sauce at all. With the flavoring, the actual flavoring spices on chips actually does taste pretty good. I don't know why I rolled this up, but here we go. Actually, it kind of makes it more in size now, so maybe it does work. So here we go. Oh, you can't see the 3D now, but whatever. So here we go. I will start off with, ooh, let's, let's do this one since this is the one I remember the most fondly. Oh, here we go. We'll get a nice close up of the individual chip here. 
It's like a little rocket ship or something, covered in the nice cheese. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. It's got like a really tiny amount of spice in it, actually. Well, I guess it is chili cheese. Which is strange, though, because it's not labeled as um, being spicy. Although, I guess it's really, it's like really, really mild. Um, So, I guess they don't really need to... If you don't like spicy food, you will probably still enjoy these. It's really, it's not like super spicy. It's just kind of like barely, barely on the on the edge of my throat, yeah. In a very pleasant way. But, yeah. These definitely taste a lot like I remember them. And the actual chip part of them, I'm almost positive, is like the same stuff bugles are made out of. Here, you can actually see a nice un, uh, unspiced part here. You can see how light it is. It is definitely like a bugle. So if you like bugles, you will definitely like these ones. Probably, maybe, if like if you're more of a fan of bugles than you are of regular Doritos chips, this might be the perfect kind of mix for you. So that's these ones. And I definitely like them a lot. And because of that like nice spiciness of it, the really pleasant spiciness, I would say I actually like these better than regular nacho cheese Doritos. And again, it could be the nostalgia talking, but hey, that's the name of the channel, right? So I'm gonna dust my hands off there. And let's move on to, I really should have gotten a, a, some sort of a palate cleanser. But uh, I didn't have anything on hand, so. <laughs> Forgive me for my sin here in food tasting, in the food tasting circles. And here we go for the, the spicy ranch. You know, let's bring this one up a little bit. You can kind of see like the little herbs and stuff a little sprinkled over it, just like on the packaging. But otherwise it looks kind of the same. <laughs> so here we go, bottoms up. Hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, there it is. You know... Yeah, let, me, let me try another one just to be sure here before I actually say anything. Wow. Okay, so... Uh, at first, I wanted to say that they're not spicy for being... For being labeled actually spicy on the packaging versus these ones not being spicy. These ones actually tasted less spicy going in, but it's weird. So they taste like, they just really cool, kind of like muted, you know, a ranchy flavor right going in. And then right as it goes down your throat, you actually get the spiciness. But in the end, like I was expecting it to maybe ramp up a little bit. I, I can still feel it in my throat, but these ones were actually spicier. I think overall, or at, at the very least, they are comparably spicy, so it's kind of weird that these aren't, you know, see like, like here's what I mean, like look, see they got little flames and stuff on this one to denote that this is supposed to be a spicy meatball. And then this one, no such flames, despite actually tasting, at least to my palate, a little bit spicier. But neither of them is super, super bad. It's, it's very pleasant and I think it's very bearable. If you're not, you know, if you really can't do spice, I think you would still be okay with these. But again, I mean, that's kind of up to you. I can't really speak for you because I'm pretty okay with spice myself. But they're good, and I do enjoy these. But um, unlike the chili cheese nacho, which I said I actually liked more than the regular nacho cheese Doritos, I still think I like Cool Ranch more than the spicy ranch ones. I think these with the Cool Ranch flavor probably would be like 10 out of 10. But they're still good, especially if you do like the ranchy flavor and you're more... So this definitely, I, I think, tastes more like actual ranch compared to Cool Ranch Doritos. So if you do like actual ranch, this would probably be more up your alley than it is for me. But they're both still good. And I mean, the price, I kind of didn't go over it, but I mean, it's chips, dude. These things are like a couple bucks a bag, let's be real. <laughs> it's probably like, I don't know, two, two bucks maybe a bag if you're unlucky you know one buck if you catch them on sale you know it's it's that kind of price range so it is not gonna break the bank and i think it's a pretty cool game day snack it's got that nice you know i think the presentation also looks kind of nice it's all puffed up and stuff 
Although I would be curious. Well, it's it's sold by weight, so I was gonna say I'd be curious if you know being puffed up with air would give you less. But of course, it's sold by weight, so that has no merit on it whatsoever. Unless they use, unless they're like thinking 10 out of 10, you know, 9,000 IQ and filling these things up with helium or something that actually, <clears throat> oh, something I caught in my throat there, that actually reduces the weight. But I, I don't think they are going above and beyond just to, you know, sneak a couple extra bucks from you there for less chips. But yeah, that be it. This is this has been Doritos 3D taste test of the two flavors that they have brought back. I do hope they stay just because I think these are super iconic and I will probably be buying more of these uh, as long as they are on the shelves for sure, at least for the nacho cheese, the chili cheese nacho ones, my bad. Because I got, I, oh, you know, it's, it's really taking me back, man. Especially now, I, I have another one. Honestly, I really miss these. I'm so glad that they're back. <laughs> Uh, I, I hope they do, do well enough to become um, a mainstay flavor. I'm not sure if they're planning on, you know, having that as a possibility, but a lad can dream. So yeah, that has been this taste test, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. That helps out the channel tremendously. And let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a preference for these? Do you remember them? Are you excited to try something that maybe you have heard heard about, heard people talking about in food forums and whatever else from way back in the day that maybe you were just a little bit too young or not even born yet to try. I'd be really interested to hear that too because like food nostalgia seems like such a weird thing if you weren't around for the food when it was actually there. You know, just hearing people like talking about some weird flavor like, oh, you know, I wish I could get something that tastes like this and that. And these, you know, people who've never tried that would be like, well, is, I mean, is it really that good enough to be, you know, so nostalgic about that flavor? So my, my answer to that is, of course, yes, of course it is. It is a taste sensation and an experience in and of itself to try these. So yeah, I make a new video every Wednesday. I do a whole variety of things. So if you, if you like the kind of stuff you see, that is when you should tune in. And other than that, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.